Making a move in Memphis, Lee Westwood, the third-ranked player in the world, is looking for his first win on tour in more than a decade. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. More than 20 players are within four shots of the lead at the St. Jude Classic presented by Smith and Nephew. Hello everyone, I'm Casey Black. Looking for his first win on tour since 1998, England's Lee Westwood shot a career low on the PGA Tour in opening round 7 under 63 heading into round 2. Westwood was bogey free on the day, shooting 5 birdies and eagle on the par 5 16th. He hit one in the drink on the par 5 3rd but managed to save par. Westwood took 24 putts, hit 66% of greens in regulation, and averaged a little more than 300 yards per drive. Overall, Westwood, who is playing for the first time in Memphis, said he was pleased with his play and the course. It's a really good golf course. It's a good test. You have to hit the ball well. It's good variation of holes. Uh, some long par threes, some short par threes, good long par fours. Um, obviously, it's demanding because it's a par 70, so there's some fives that have been changing to fours, which are tough. Normally there's a bit more wind blows, so today you know, we were fortunate that it was barely calm this morning, um, so it was scoreable. Some good news for Westwood. The player holding at least a share of the first round lead has won the St. Jude Classic 13 times in the tournament's 52-year history. Brian Gay was the last to do so last year. And look for Westwood to tee off from the first at 2.06 Eastern Time with Len Matisse, who won in 2002, who will start his round three over par, and Chad Collins, who is three under par. And sitting one shot back of Westwood is Casey Wittenberg, a hometown guy who is playing in his first event on the PGA Tour this year. He's played in 11 events on the Nationwide Tour, scoring two top 25 finishes. This is his seventh start in Memphis. The first time he played, he was just 17 years old. I was fortunate enough to get in when I was 17, and that was when I was still bent grass green. So it's, it's changed a lot in the years, and it's, I think it's been a good change. I think all the players are really happy with the changes on the golf course. I think it brings a strong feel to Memphis and uh, Memphis can throw a good party. And two shots off the lead is Patrick Harrington. He shot a bogey free opening round five under 65. In his first start since missing the cut at the Players' Championship, the Irishman shot his best round in his four starts at TPC Southwind. He will be heading out to the first tee to start off his second round at 1.38 Eastern time with Ryan Palmer, who is at even par, and Ryuji Yamada, who is three under. Bob Stevens is in Memphis and has much more. Bob? Casey, with the weather expected to improve Friday and through the weekend, it's going to be even more important for guys to take advantage of these wonderful, wonderful greens here at the TPC Southwind. They're made out of champion Bermuda grass, and Jay Williamson told me every golf course in the South ought to be champion Bermuda because they are fantastic. You roll them from 10 feet, they got a pretty good chance of going in. Williamson made every putt inside 10 feet, so did John Sendon, so did Casey Wittenberg. That's one of the reasons they are at the top of the leaderboard. So watch the guys rolling the rock this weekend and especially the guys from outside 10 feet. More putts get made at the TPC Southwind outside 10 feet a year ago than any other course on tour except Warwick Hills up in Michigan. It'll be fun to watch. We'll bring all the action to you on Sirius 209 and XM 146. Thank you, Bob, and you can watch the second round television coverage starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Golf Channel. But before you do that, head to PGATour.com to watch On the Tee Live starting at noon Eastern. John Swantek, Brian Katrick, and myself will get you ready for second round coverage with exclusive highlights, interviews, analysis, live scoring, and much more. That's On the Tee Live, PGATour.com starting noon Eastern Friday. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard, proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.